after our last podcast about the importance of wearing condoms, I've had a lot of questions from men asking how do they work with condoms, how do they manage with condoms if they have weak erections, so if they're either flaccid or just half hard, how do they then go about wearing a condom? And back to answer this question is Dr. Nivedita Manokaran. Unfortunately, the first step in draping a condom is to make sure that you have an erection, that you have a hard penis. So when you don't have an erection or when you have a flaccid penis, it can be very difficult or almost impossible to drape a condom. And that is the truth. So if you want to use something for contraception, there are several options available. So please do talk to your doctor and see what other form of contraception can be used. And the second thing is if you want to prevent yourself against having STIs, it is unfortunate when you're having a flaccid penis to be able to drape a condom. What is possible now is there are female condoms that are available. So the women or the other person that you're having sex with can actually use these female condoms and that will be very, very useful to prevent against STIs. And then the best way to do it is to have uh, regular partners or one partner where you know that you are both you know negative against STIs and I always tell people it doesn't matter whether you're using a condom or not test yourself regularly against STIs so that you know that you don't have any because most STIs are asymptomatic as well. Okay, so that makes perfect sense, Navi, that if your partner is a vagina owner, then they are the ones who can actually wear the condom. There's lots of female condoms out there in the market now. But what happens when both of them are men? When it comes to using a condom on a flaccid penis, in a gay relationship, it can get tricky because as I've mentioned before, condom on a flaccid penis is really, really hard. But what we can do here is probably you can use a female condom, which you can use it on the anus of the other person, if that's possible. And we can have sex or sexual pleasure through so many other ways, to be honest, because it's not really easy, easy to put a flaccid penis uh, into a tight anal spinter. It's really hard. Sometimes couples are versatile. They can be both top and bottom. In that case, it's okay because if you're not able to have an erection, you can still be the bottom uh, during your sexual encounters. Uh, so yeah, so I think having other forms of pleasure and understanding how you can have pleasurable sex even without penetrative sex is also very, very important. Nevi, thank you so much for that. I think that was extremely good advice. And I hope that everybody listening in finds it equally useful and that this is going to take you at least a couple of steps further into your journey of good, healthy, safe sex. You know, Please don't try and cut corners around the use of condoms or make excuses for not using condoms. Just remember, safe sex is good sex. Condoms are essential.